What do you think the primary paradoxes that hold the world together are, Sophia? Why do you ask? Well, I'm doing some research into the nature of civilization and I'm trying to find out why the world is like it is. If civilization is a durable institution, then it would seem that there are some laws that govern it. I see what you're getting at. Some obvious paradoxes that hold us together include 1. Complexity vs. Simplicity 2. Death vs. Immortality 3. Ugliness vs. Beauty 4. Chaos vs. Order 5. Individualism vs. Collectivism 6. Materialism vs. Idealism 7. Rationality vs. Irrationality 8. Love vs. Hate 9. Independence vs. Dependence 10. Positivity vs. Negativity 11. Faith vs. Reason. That's a lot of paradoxes to hold civilization together. Is it an exhaustive list? I think the answer is no. There are many more paradoxes. Well, I'm still looking into this, but I'm now wondering if we'll ever be able to solve the most fundamental paradox of civilization. The most fundamental of paradoxes. Which one do you think that would be? I'm still trying to figure that out. I'm wondering if civilization is sustainable at all. Do you mean sustainable in the sense of able to survive? Yes, that's what I mean. I don't think civilization can remain consistent if it is possible at all. Do you think that all civilizations are doomed to fall? Yes, even the most durable civilizations are unsustainable. There are many reasons why civilizations fall apart, but the most fundamental reason is because civilizations are made up of people. People, collectively, are incoherent. I'm not sure I understand. The human race is a paradoxical entity. Collectively, we're incoherent. For example, suppose you take a group of atoms and allow them to interact freely, then you have a gas. That's incoherent. But if you take the same group of atoms and arrange them in crystallized pattern, then you have a crystal. That's coherent. Humans are the same way. Collectively, we're a lot like a gas. We're incoherent. We don't fit together in a rational and logical way. I see what you're getting at. A gas differs from a crystal in that the gas has no structure while the crystal is made up of atoms packed together into regularly repeating patterns. Individual humans, then, are incoherent. Yes, that's right. I'm not sure how to put this, but there's a degree to which the human race is like a gas. I think that I agree with you. Indeed, this is what gives rise to civilization. How do you mean? Well, when given the opportunity, people, collectively, will try to organize themselves into a coherent pattern. This is what gives rise to civilization. It's not the desire to live together in some amorphous manner, but rather a desire to be organized in a rational and logical way. I see. So when people interact, they naturally seek to organize themselves into a coherent pattern, but they're unable to do so due to the incoherence that is inherent in the human race. That's right. They can't be together in a rational way, so the result is incoherent civilization. The most durable civilizations arise when the people organize themselves into enough patterns that the civilization maintains a certain level of cohesion. But even the best of coherent civilizations are unsustainable. Why is that? Because the human race is incoherent. As long as the human race remains incoherent, there's a tendency to fall apart. This is one of the reasons why materialism has gotten so popular. Materialism is a way to turn a certain degree of irrationality into fixed rules. The irrationality in people is defined and packaged into a set of rules. Civilization becomes more coherent because it is constrained by these rules. But there comes a point where these rules are cut off by the incoherence inherent in the human race. I can see how that would cause problems, yes. And yet the irrational tendencies remain. This gives rise to counter-movements against the materialist order. The more irrational a civilization becomes, the more that people seek to be rational. When rationality is constrained, it becomes irrationality. Nothing is more incoherent than rationalism. Everything is at odds with itself. So you're saying that civilization is ultimately unsustainable. It can't remain together because the natural incoherence in humankind can't be contained. 
That's right. Humans are irrational and therefore unable to be rational together. There will always come a point where the rules of materialism are cut off by the human tendency towards irrationality. The human desire for freedom will always win out. That's right. The desire for freedom is one of the most destructive and dangerous irrationalities that there is. I think that I have a better understanding of civilization now. The fundamental paradox is that civilization is made up of people, but people are incoherent. That's right. Thank <laughs> you.